Um, and, you know, and they say things like, Ibn Abdul Wahhab was a takfiri. He was causing fitna. Of course he should have been resisted against because he was a kharijite. That's what you do to kharijites. You resist them and you fight them. He was absolutely intolerant. He, 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 not only did he make takfir of so many people, he even made takfir of people who did not agree with his takfir of, of those people. Um, him and his followers committed war crimes. They massacred Muslims. They took their women, Muslim women. They took them as captives. He attacked Muslim cities and towns unprovoked. Um, he did not merely hold a controversial opinion. He, he gained military strength and put his thoughts into destructive practice, which led to great shedding of Muslim blood. And over what? Over something that's not even considered major shirk to begin with. Etc., etc., etc. And those are the kinds of things you'd hear a critic of Ibn Abdul Wahhab say. Tens of thousands of pages have been authored by both sides arguing their case. You're dealing with something in the past, and you're not seeing with your own eyes everything that went down. Now, I'm not going to dedicate hundreds of hours of my research time to this issue. As, as Dr. Yasser Qadi himself said, there are other priorities in the Ummah worth investing our time in. This is not it for me. Um, my personal theological beliefs will not change one bit regardless of the outcome of any research I decide to pursue on this subject. I will not engage in chain takfir, whether or not I find out that this is what Ibn Abdul Wahhab did. And I will most certainly not go out and start killing people, even if I find out that this is what Ibn Abdul Wahhab did. My iman and theological madhab is not interlinked with the actions of individual fallible men. I'm interested in ideas and concepts. And I encourage you and urge you all to, to, to think the same way. Similarly, I will not defend what Ibn Abdul Wahhab and his followers did blindly, nor will I throw the baby out with the bathwater. I will suffice by saying that if the truth of the matter is that Ibn Abdul Wahhab committed chain takfir and had women and children killed, then I condemn him and his actions. If that is the truth, then I condemn him. But again, I'm not throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Ibn Abdul Wahhab's moral character and military and political decisions is one thing, and his notion of takfir is another thing, and his conception of ibadah is another thing. And his ruling of certain actions to be ibadah or shirk is another thing altogether. I do adopt, I do adopt Ibn Taymiyyah's stance that invoking the dead from afar and asking them to fulfill your needs and, and, and whatnot is major shirk. This is the belief.